With the release of watchOS 7.4, Apple has finally given us Australians the green light to use the ECG function on our Apple Watch. The ability to take an ECG was first introduced with Apple Watch Series 4 in 2018, but it hasn't been until March this year that Apple has been given approval by the Therapeutic Goods Administration to release the feature in Australia. An electrocardiogram, or ECG, is a test that records the timing and strength of electrical signals that make the heart beat. By looking at an ECG, a doctor can gain insights about your heart rhythm and look for irregularities. As always, it's important to keep in mind that this feature is designed to be used only as an indication of atrial fibrillation. And if at any point you don't feel well, despite what the watch may say, always seek guidance from a professional. The first thing we need to do is ensure the software on our Apple Watch is up to date. To do this, open the Watch app on your phone, then choose General, then About, and have a look at version. For the ECG function to be available, you need to be on version 7.4 or newer. If you need to update, tap General at the top to go back a page, then choose Software Update, and follow the prompts to update your software. Once your watch is updated, open the Health app on your phone and then tap Browse down the bottom. From here, select Heart, scroll to where it says Electrocardiograms ECG, and choose Setup. Fill in your date of birth and tap Continue. As you can see here, for me it said the ECG app was not installed on my watch. So if this is the same for you, choose Install on Apple Watch. And while that happens, we can continue to set up on the phone. First we learn how the ECG app works, and then we get shown the possible results the ECG may show. After learning about these, the setup tells us four important points. Number one, the ECG app can't detect a heart attack. Number two, it can't detect blood clots or a stroke. Three, it can't detect other heart-related conditions. And four, if you are not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. After this, we are prompted with taking your first ECG. To do this, open the ECG app on your Apple Watch and then rest your arms on a table or in your lap and hold your finger on the digital crown. For this, you don't want to push the digital crown in, simply rest your finger against it. As you can see in my example here, the watch displays in real time your heart's electrical signals and also shows your heart rate. It takes 30 seconds to complete the test, after which you will be given a result in line with the options shown earlier. In my case, sinus rhythm, and this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Once you have completed your first ECG, your phone will say setup is complete. To view your ECG results, open the Health app, tap Browse, then Heart, and then Electrocardiograms. From here, you can tap on any result to see more details about when the sample was taken, you can scroll across to see the extent of data captured, and also export a PDF of the result for your doctor. Another feature that has been enabled at the same time is called a regular rhythms notification. What this feature does is analyse pulse rate data to identify episodes of irregular heart rhythms suggestive of atrial fibrillation and provides a notification. This works in the background on your watch when you are stationary. To activate this feature, again, in the Health app, select Browse, then Heart, and then Irregular Rhythm Notifications. Once again, we need to enter our date of birth, and this time let the app know if you've ever been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation by a doctor. This feature is not intended for use by people under 22 and also by those who have previously been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. After inputting our data, we are told how it works, and then four more important points being, number one, Apple Watch cannot detect heart attacks. Two, Apple Watch is not constantly looking for atrial fibrillation. Number three, if you're not feeling well, you should talk to a doctor. And four, do not change your medication without talking to your doctor. After choosing to continue, you then need to turn on notifications and that's it. Your watch will look in the background for any signs of irregular rhythms. So that's how to set up the ECG and irregular rhythm notifications. It's one of those features you hope you never have to need, but should you be feeling unwell, it might be handy to take a quick ECG to have the data available to show your doctor when you next visit. If you found this video helpful, I'd love if you could give it a thumbs up, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below.